Hey guys, so today's look is on this bronzy golden gold look. Um, it is summer appropriate using the Too Faced chocolate bar, the original one, um, one of my top fives. Um, that one and the semi suite are hand in hand. I usually go back and forth with those two. I've been loving those two palettes um, this summer. Um, but today I'm using the original chocolate bar with just three eyeshadows simple and easy all right so starting off with the professional to cover those pores that i have going on right here all right since i used a pore filler primer i'm going in with this nivea post shape bomb i'm sure you've, you've all heard about it the reason why it's a really good primer is because it has glycerin and um Glycerin is what help your foundation stick, but it doesn't help fill in pores. It's just to help your foundation last longer. Today I'm going in with uh, Revlon Age Defy Firming and Lifting Makeup. I'm going in with Medium Beige. Um, don't mind it, it's dirty. But this is one of my favorite um, drugstore foundations. I like the consistency consistency of it it's it has like a satin finish and it still kind of gives you that kind of glow so if you're looking for a drugstore foundation you can look into this one and it has SPF in it um, SPF 15 so it's pretty good if you're out and about in the hot days especially in the summer I'm sure most of you know but if you use a foundation with SPF in it um, you'll get backflash in photography going in with the Garnier and then going in with the Age Rewind on the outer to brighten up going in with the Beauty Blender Alright, so I did my eyebrows. The first one that I'm using in this palette is this gold right here. So with a flat shader brush, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. Put this all over my lid to my crease, not going above my crease. So I'm just going to pack it on first. Not going above the crease. It's like a gold bronzy color. All right, so once I did that, I'm going to go ahead and go with, um, this is an e.l.f. blending eye brush. So I am going to go in with this color, this one right here. And I'm just going to dab that all over the outer corner. It's really pigmented, so you want to be careful on how you apply that. Once you pack it on on the outer corner, with no additional product, just swoop it in on your crease just to kind of blend everything together. And it'll give it that really pretty little ombre effect. All right, so once you have that color, I'm going in with an e.l.f. smudge brush. And I'm going in with the darkest um, color in the palette, which is, I believe, triple fudge. And I'm just going to darken the lower lash line a little bit. Then I am going to go in, back in with the blending brush from e.l.f. Um, with the second color in the palette, um, Hazelnut. And I'm going to go in under my lash line and just kind of blend that out. And once I have that blended out, I'm going in with a black eyeliner and I'm just going to put this all over my waterline. Poked my eye. Always a great feeling. Alright, so I put this on my waterline. Then I'm going to go back in with the smudge brush and go in with triple fudge and just do the outer corners right 
there. Then I'm just going in with a brush with no additional product. It's a eye blender and I'm just going to do slightly little circular motions just to get rid of those harsh lines. Nothing, just a light hand so you don't mess anything up. And that is the final eye look. I still need to put um, mascara, falsies, and finish the rest of my face. Then I will be right back. All right, so I did my mascara and put some falsies. I did the Ardell Kirby's. The Ardell Curvies in 410. So to finish off my face to match this golden bronzy look, I am going to go in with the Tarte Amazo Amazonian Clay in Park Avenue Princess. This is, it looks really dark, but it has like a golden sheen to it. And it's really pigmented. Not pretty. It just gives it that little. I don't know. I just. This is a really good bronzer. I really like it. So. This is becoming one of my favorite bronzers. I forgot about it. I haven't used it in a while because I was using the MAC uh, Refined Golden. But. I love Tarte. And this one is a really good bronzer. So. Highly recommend it. I am going for a light contour today nothing too heavy so I'm going in with the hula bronzer by benefit also very pigmented also very good bronzer but this is a matte bronzer and I'm not going heavy on the contour then I'm gonna go in with blush I'm gonna do a very set subtle blush because you don't want too much good on your face you want to balance it out so I'm going in with NARS Deep Throat, one of my favorite blushes. Let's see. I'm going to go in with a nude lipstick. And that is the final look. I hope you guys like this look. It's a quick, simple, easy look. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Using the Chocolate Bar Palette, Easy Breezy Sun Bronze, um, Golden Bronze look. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.